Hi everyone, I welcome you all for this Nursing Wisdom channel. Today we are going to see about fetal circulation. Fetal circulation means the blood circulation in the fetus and unborn baby. The placenta, the circulatory system of the mother is not directly connected to that of the fetus. So the placenta functions as the respiratory center for the fetus as well as a site of filtration for plasma nutrients and waste water glucose amino acids vitamins and inorganic salt freely diffuse across the placenta along with oxygen umbilical cord umbilical cord is consist of two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein umbilical arteries carries deoxygenated blood waste from fetus to placenta umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood nutrients from placenta to fetus the shunt present in fetal life shunt means a connection or passage between two blood vessels there are three shunt present in fetal life they are ductus venosus foramen ovale ductus arteriosus ductus venosus it connects the umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava foramen ovale anatomic opening between the right and left atrium ductus arteriosus connects the main pulmonary artery to the descending aorta before going to fetal circulation we should know about fetal lung fetal lung now in unfunctional state so there is no air circulation inside the alveoli so blood vessels supplying to lung will be constricted in order to reduce the blood flow to the lungs due to this vasoconstriction the pressure inside the pulmonary artery will be high if the pressure increase in pulmonary artery that will increase the pressure in right side of the heart because from right ventricle only the blood going to pulmonary artery so just to remember here the pressure in right side of the heart will be higher than left side of the heart fetal circulation oxygenated blood from placenta travels to the fetus through umbilical vein the oxygen saturation level of this blood is 80 percentage then umbilical vein reaching at the level of liver and it is divided into two branch right and left umbilical branch right umbilical branch supply blood to liver and the deoxygenated blood from liver drained by portal vein so here the first time less oxygenated blood get mixed with highly oxygenated blood present in umbilical vein totally in fetal circulation five time the oxygenated blood will get mixed with less oxygenated blood so this is the first time next left umbilical branch anastomosing with inferior vena cava and form ductus venosus through this bypass ductus venosus large amount of the blood bypassing liver and reaching inferior vena cava inferior vena cava draining the deoxygenated blood from lower part of the body now this blood will get mixed with oxygenated blood in umbilical vein this is the second time the oxygenated and less oxygenated blood getting mixed but anyway it is not enough to affect the purity of this blood so it is still considered as highly oxygenated blood so now blood from inferior vena cava will go to right atrium from right atrium most part of this highly oxygenated blood going to left atrium via foramen ovale foramen ovale is the opening between the right atrium and left atrium now why the most part of blood is going to left atrium not going to right ventricle because already we know the right side pressure of the heart is higher than left side of the heart so the blood always go from high pressure to low pressure so the blood now move from right atrium to left atrium next why we need to this bypass from an oval because now lung is in non-functional state so the blood now no need to go lung to get oxygen already this blood is oxygenated from placenta 
that's why now bypassing the blood from right atrium to left atrium from right atrium the blood going to left ventricle while ventricular systole the blood reaching ascending aorta then will reach aortic arch from aortic arch most of the blood supply to the upper part of the body myocardium and head via coronary carotid subclavian arteries respectively remaining little blood will go to descending aorta and supply lower part of the body this is one part next deaccinated blood connected from the head and upper part of the body returns to the right atrium via superior vena cava blood that has entered the right atrium from superior vena cava enters at a different angle to the blood that enters from the inferior vena cava because the highly oxygenated blood coming from inferior vena cava going to right atrium to left atrium through foramen ovale the less oxygenated blood coming from superior vena cava going to right atrium to right ventricle hence there are two list two distinct blood flow entering the right atrium now from right atrium the blood coming from superior vena cava and little amount of blood coming from inferior vena cava will get will go to right ventricle i told most amount of the blood coming from inferior vena cava from right atrium it will go to left atrium by foramen ovale but little amount of blood will go to right ventricle so this is the third place getting mix of highly oxygenated blood from inferior vena cava with less oxygenated blood coming from superior vena cava where it is happening at right atrium now this blood from right atrium now enter to right ventricle from right ventricle it will enter pulmonary artery to the pulmonary circulation but now the lungs is in non functional state so the pulmonary artery will be constricted and the pressure and resistance to this blood in pulmonary artery will be high so the blood will bypass to aorta via ductus arteriosus ductus arteriosus means connection between pulmonary artery and descending aorta This is the fourth place the highly oxygenated and less oxygenated blood will get mixed because in aorta already present highly oxygenated blood coming from inferior vena cava now through this bypass ductus venosus the less oxygenated blood getting mixed and this blood will get supply to lower part of the body next one more thing however the blood is bypassing from pulmonary artery to aorta a little amount of blood will go to pulmonary artery to lungs and it will not get purify because lungs are not working and through pulmonary vein this blood will come back to right atrium so this is the fifth place the highly oxygenated blood getting mixed with less oxygenated blood because the blood present in left atrium is highly oxygenated the blood coming from pulmonary vein is less oxygenated from right atrium this blood will go to left ventricle and then to aorta and will get supply the blood going through descending aorta will supply the lower part of the body then the deoxygenated blood travels back to the internal iliac arteries which leading to the hypogastric arteries and ultimately into the umbilical arteries and go back to placenta and will get purify and this circulation will continue while reaching the blood in umbilical artery the saturation level is 58% this circulation means that the head brain and upper part of the fetus perfused with well oxygenated blood when compared to its lower extremities that's all about fetal circulation i hope you got understand about fetal circulation thanks for watching